welcome to the Enjoying Your Life channel. Today we are going to use these canned clams and we are going to make a clam chowder. Now there are two kinds of clam chowders. There's the New England clam chowder and there's the Manhattan clam chowder. Today we will focus on the New England clam chowder. So stick around, become a subscriber, like the video, share the video. We'll get started on this recipe. Okay guys, we're gonna cut up some bacon pieces. We're gonna fry them up, whoa, pop. <laughs> and we're gonna get those brown. And then we're going to chop some onions and some garlic. You're get your onions and garlics. We're gonna chop that up. We're gonna chop up some potatoes. We're gonna put that over there in that clam chowder as well. But first, uh, after the meat is brown, we'll do the uh, vegetables. We'll saute the garlic and onions and then go. You can do all of this from your stock pot. All right, and if I, I didn't tell you guys, when you were uh, ch chopping the garlic, and chopping the onion that you can go ahead and chop the celery as well. So you get all of that sauteed first. And then once you get that sauteed, you can go ahead and add your potatoes in there. You can put some white pepper in there, some thyme. You can crunch up one chicken bouillon cube or do like me, I'm just going to use a, a packet. I'm gonna throw a packet in there of seasoning of crab and shrimp boil so it's like a, a seafood boil seasoning actually it's 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 not a packet it's a it's a little net i'm gonna show you hold on this is what i'm going to use to season mine you'll add your clam juice in there a cup of water and you'll let that boil for about 15 20 minutes and then we'll go on to the next step in a bowl we're going to take about a third cup of flour and a cup and a half of cream, your favorite cream. You can use half and half, or you can use heavy cream, and you're gonna get that stirred up until it's smooth. And then we will put that, we will gradually stir that into our chowder after the potatoes are done. Once you have poured your cream mixture gradually into the soup, go ahead and add your clams. And then just let that boil some more and you can top it off with parsley. I'm gonna let mine cook a little longer. Thank you guys for stopping by the channel. Feel free to leave comments. I love to hear from you. Don't forget to like the video. Love you guys, till next time.